Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I want to test the new Assassin's Creed Shadows with uh, frame generation, DLSS and lossless scaling. Uh, I really wonder how this is uh, all going to go. Uh, in the end I will also talk a little bit about uh, how it's going with the uh, input lag when uh, playing the game. Because of course I didn't only do a benchmark, I already know the results. But we're going to talk about it uh, in the end of the video and there is some really interesting results actually and there are some things uh, about the game which i want to talk about but uh, we're going to do that in the end for now let's uh, roll the clips and gonna check out all the videos that i made and yeah from there i will see you guys in a minute
Hello guys, I'm back. So I have the video made in uh, four sections. One is quality versus quality and frame gen, then balanced and balanced and frame gen, then performance and performance in frame gen. And then I did performance and quality uh, DLSS with lossless scaling adaptive mode. And that achieved like the highest FPS, like 144. So I didn't only do benchmark, I also played the game for uh, a decent amount of hours and I can say like something is wrong with the, the DLSS mode I also tried the AMD one and it is not so good honestly like uh, there is some uh, input lag uh, with lossless you get way more FPS and the input lag is the same so I suggest playing with lossless for now until maybe they fix the game but uh, a lot of times when you restart the game, like DLSS is missing. That is really weird. And I checked online and it is a lot of people that is actually has this uh, issues. Um, yeah, so DLSS is missing uh, a lot and it is also not working r really well. As you can see, like the quality balanced and performance mode is like 61 FPS, 61 and 64. And with frame gen, it is 104, 105, 107. Like, no way that the quality and performance mode is only like 3 fps fps difference like that doesn't make any sense so i think the dlss modes in this game is uh, absolutely broken at the moment and they should definitely fix it uh i didn't do the test this test once i did like five six tries for every mode uh i tried dlss swapper nvidia's inspector and the nvidia app to get the dlss working sometimes and just sometimes you play and then you check the settings again and it is gone like it doesn't exist anymore and when you check the files inside of the folder in stream like the dlss is legit missing so you need to swap it again to get it back in or in the nvidia app to restore all the drivers and it is insane like something is not going good there in this game uh, on the other hand, the game plays really nice if you have lost the scaling on. But for now, the NVIDIA options and the AMD options, I wouldn't bother too much with it. If it works, it's great. Like my favorite mode to play is the performance with frame gen because it works the best on high settings, not max. Because max settings, it, <laughs> it eats my GPU and it is a 5080. So some patches needs to be done, I guess. Uh, but if the NVIDIA... Nvidia DLSS or the AMD FSR is not working just go for lossless like the input lag was r literally the same and you have 144 FPS uh, so yeah um, my advice would be for now skip DLSS skip FSR and go straight for lossless scaling and put it on adaptive you have like a way better experience so that is it for the video. If you guys have any uh, questions, put it in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see uh, how it goes next time. I will see you guys uh, in the next video. For now, I wish you all a, a great day. And uh, if you like the video, put a like, put a comment and subscribe to the video. Goodbye, everybody.